Uh, I still hope the sound is fine. Still trying to work out all the kinks of this microphone. I'm going to try it a different place. Hopefully I don't hit it. I could hit the microphone. And if I do, I apologize in advance if I hit the microphone. It's right here. It's a cheap thing, but... All right, welcome to another unboxing. I have an Amazon.com Marvel Collector Core uh, box. Uh, this will be the November box, which, as you know, regularly it ships late in November and then it comes in early December. And today is December 3rd, just after 4 a.m. You know, the time that I like to be out and about. Put this here. And this is the Wakanda Forever box. The movie just came out last month. And it's the ending. Well, it's the last movie of Phase 4. Now, the actual epilogue would be the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, which is on Disney Plus now. So, for both things. For the movie, this is... Definitely in my top two for phase four. Um, it's one of those things where I'm like, this, no way home. This, no way home. Um, this was an amazing film. Because it played, a, it was like a wonderful tribute to Chadwick Boseman, who unfortunately died before, just like months before they were going to start filming it. So... Ryan Coogler had to like do a lot of rewrites and restructuring and everything. And then of course the pandemic didn't make things any easier. So the idea that something like this, that was just like, I, I won't lie. I mean, the beginning of it, you're, you're tearing up in the beginning, you're tearing up at the end because it was just so wonderfully done. Just like the first one, the, the shots of it were aesthetically pleasing. And, um, having this be like a wonderful tribute to him and also um, being able to continue the legacy of Wakanda and the Black Panther into the next chapter, which will be going into phase five, which by the way, the Guardians of the Galaxy volume three, um, the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 trailer was released, so we uh, probably going to be in for another emotional roller coaster in terms of that one. It's supposed to be, the, it's going to be the last James Gunn, because James Gunn is going to be working for DC now. Um, so, But he's with Marvel to May, so once he's done with promotional materials for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, he would be fully seated as a co- um, lead for DC Studios along with someone else. So hopefully that means something good, but I never know what to expect with DC. But I'm going to go ahead and get this open because uh, I've been yammering for almost 20 minutes. <laughs> I'll probably cut a lot of that out. Okay. If I cut it out, my rankings for the Phase 4 films... Because <clears throat> the, the films you had, in order when they came out, Black Widow came out, then Shang-Chi, then Eternals, then Spider-Man No Way Home, then Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, then Thor Love and Thunder, and this is the seventh and final of Phase 4. So, seven films, starting with the bottom, the seventh film is Black Widow. <laughs> I didn't like it. Yelena and Red Guardian were the, really the only good parts. Um, Thor Love and Thunder, a bit uneven. Uh, it had good parts, but it had some clashing moments and some weird things. The whole hammer theme where the, the uh, Stormbreaker is jealous that he's still pining over his, you know, first hammer. Weird. Yeah. Okay, then Eternals. I get that, you know, it's there's still a matter of not really knowing where it's placed because we don't know when we're going to see them again. We still don't know when we're going to see them again. 
and um, how much they'll actually play in the rest of the MCU. But as a story itself, I still felt like it, it, um, to me, it was good. I mean, I, I, I was a little uneven about it at first. Part of it was probably me thinking, oh, there's going to be some people who are going to be uneven about it. <laughs> but I watched it like two additional times and it's like, you know, I actually like it. I don't think it's the worst one. Some people think it's the worst one. I think Black Widow is the worst one. Black Widow is the worst one enough that I think it's the worst. Could it be worse than Iron Man 2? <laughs> It's definitely worse than Captain Marvel. I'd watch Captain Marvel again. I would, before I watch Black Widow. I, I said it. Um, then Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. It was a bit short. It was only a little over two hours. Same thing with Love and Thunder. They're only two hours. And it's not like I want movies to be super long. But it's just sometimes it feels like there's stuff missing. I, I can't help but think there's something missing. Um, Shang-Chi. I really enjoyed Shang-Chi. Then, as far as 2 and one is concerned, I don't know. I mean, I can say Wakanda Forever and then No Way Home, which is probably what most people are going to go with. But, you know, I, 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 I could change my mind just when I get a chance to watch this again. Um... And I thought it was so, so good. So, let's see what is in the box. Finally. So, this is from Amazon.com. Today is December 3rd. Um, it shipped. I think I got the shipping notification November 30th. So, I just got it in yesterday. In a second. All right. So, let's see if I can pull out. Oh, don't, don't look at it. Look. I'm going to see if I can pull out this here first, the pen. So we get a pen. There's your pen. Oh, I, I touched the microphone, didn't I? So this would be M'Baku. Now, as far as Black Panther, when it comes to Funko Pops, the only one I have is Shuri. I don't have anyone else. I just have a Shuri Pop that I got at a, I think I got it at Walmart. Mbaku. There's not a lot of male characters in here. I mean, it is a lot of female characters. There's a lot of estrogen. We got, there's a Shuri in the tracksuit. That's the thing I felt was kind of weird. I don't know why she was always in a tracksuit. I don't know if it was mentioned in there. Um, I have a hard time hearing dialogue because it's mixed so um, terribly. The, the, there's not a lot of um, putting focus on dialogue. It's and when you have action scenes. It's it's just I I, I can't. He and plus they have they're, they're speaking with accents that it also makes it a little bit more harder to understand. So um, yeah, I don't know why she was going with the whole tracksuit look. That sometimes felt a little weird. <laughs> I won't lie, but I'm not going to judge a movie based on the wardrobe. Okay, that's the card of what's in here, so I'm going to put that down here off to the side so I can't see it. Uh, decal. Okay, so shirt. Shirt. Let's open this up. We got, oh, we got everyone on here. <clears throat> Pardon if I don't spell them right. Um, Mbaku. Uh, and we have... Okoye, Nakia, and Shuri. So those are kind of the main ones. I don't know why Armando's not on there. Alright, so now we got the pops. So let's start on the left side. I gotta try to get them out real carefully. Let's start on the left side. Pull one out. I dropped it. It's easier just to show the thing, I think, instead of trying to pull one out and doing one at a time. Oop. 
We got Io. Io, Io. Um, she's the one that was in. <sighs> she was the one that was also in the um, the Falcon and Bucky show. She was the one that was kind of leading the squad of the uh, door. I want to make sure I spell it, say it right. Dora Milaje. <clears throat> Uh, when they were trying to, they wanted Zemo because Zemo was out. It's a little rough on the edge. Okay. That's weird. Okay. So, kind of a, it's not a main one either. Because uh, it felt like they were focused more on there was a new character that was added in. Um, I don't remember the name. It was uh, Michaela, Michaela Cohn's character. Cohn? I am part. I am so sorry if I mispronounce anything. Next. We got Shuri as a Black Panther. Spoiler! Uh, it's not really a spoiler in my opinion because it was honestly in the trailer. Because as soon as they, as soon as they showed the mask with the dots in the way that we've seen her have like that kind of, um, uh, like her battle like in a uh, in, in 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 both Black Panther and in in um, Endgame, you had she had her like. Panther Paul blaster things. <laughs> and then she had like this little battle battle makeup and gym dot things or whatever you call them. I don't I don't know. Clack. I kinda I, I kinda figured that I was gonna get this because it's kind of the main thing is you you're gonna get Black Panther. You're gonna get the Shuri Black Panther. This one's kind of a surprise. But I don't think there's a comment of her. So this is actually kind of cool. Although I would have liked the newer one. <laughs> um, and a name more would have been nice. <clears throat> so I got Shuri again. I have another Shuri. I have regular Shuri from Black Panther, and I have Shuri Black Panther from Wakanda Forever. Wow. Fascinating. I like repeating myself a lot. <laughs> I keep both of these, though. There are a lot of Marvel Collector Core exclusives that I pretty much kind of want to get rid of, but... Alright. Now. <clears throat> There's what's in it. And uh, I'll go ahead and show this. This is the common set. These are the ones that you can probably find. Guy, sorry, sorry. Microphone. Common set. These are the ones that you can like go to maybe a Walmart and find in the store, or GameStop or somewhere that sells Funko Pops. Or just go online. So here's the fun thing. The next box. Is it Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania? Nope. Is it another Disney Plus box to kind of <clears throat> showcase the shows that we had in this last year? No. Well, I should say, shows that we had minus one. Because that's how it was last time. It was like all of them, including What If, which had its own box. And this year, I Am Groot had its own box, and it was only like five, no, six... No, five six-minute shorts. It's like 30 minutes worth of stuff. And it had its own box. At least what if it was a whole, you know, nine episodes or something. No way home. So this would be the January box, which would come in February if I stick with this. And it's tempting... I told myself that I would probably cancel after this one here, but then it's... I don't have a No Way Home pop. I have Spider-Man pops, though, already. 
I already have Spider-Man Pops. I have video game Spider-Man, Miles Morales. And I just got a Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse box, which gave me a Miles Morales Spider-Man from the animated movie, as well as the Gwen Stacy Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen. And I have the Spider-Man from in-game, where he has the Octo... The multiple... Uh, the spider legs. I shouldn't say Octo. I do have an Octo Spidey, which is a Walgreens exclusive. But I do have two... Two video game ones. Because I have a winter suit Spider-Man Miles Morales, and then I have the Cat Bodega suit Miles Morales. But that's the thing. I have a lot of Miles Morales ones. I do have Peter Parker, though, because I do have one for the MCU. So I am good on Spider-Man for the MCU. I also have an MJ. So, do I want to risk not getting something different or interesting? Maybe one of the other Spider-Men? Maybe the two other ones? Just them two? Tobey Maguire and Andrew Griffith? I don't have one that represents them. Or that it may have one of the villains, a Green Goblin, a Doc Ock. But if it had Electro, I don't know. I told myself I would cancel after this one because I, I kind of, you get what you expect. I do like when you get something you don't expect. But I've had boxes where I got what I expected. I mean, the Doctor Strange box was two Doctor Strange pops. No one else. <clears throat> Other people in the movie. The Thor Love and Thunder was both Thors. You had Thor and Mighty Thor. And I already had both of them. So it, that's, that's one in which I would... If it seemed feasible to sell individual pops, that's the problem. Because I have pops that are like $7 in value. It's not worth it to try to sell them that way. But if I can get rid of some of the higher dollar ones or something and you know, get 20 bucks, 25 bucks for the Marvel Collector Core ones, I might have to consider it at some point. I don't need Thor and Mighty Thor. I don't need two Shuris, but I'll keep both of them. Because this one's a Black Panther one, the other one's just Shuri. It would be nice to have Okoye. Mm -hmm. I would have liked Okoye. I don't have one. I like her. But I also want a Ramonda. Ramonda? Ramonda? Ramonda. I would love to have one of that. Oh, and I have an Ironheart pop. It's just not a Black Panther specific. It's a it's a Marvel Ironheart. It's the one I got that was a pop in a box exclusive. As soon as they announced that there was going to be an Ironheart series... And that Ironheart was going to be in Wakanda forever. Um, when they when they said it's a pop and box exclusive, I just went ahead and was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get it. Just kind of stay ahead of the game. It's not worth much. <laughs> That's okay. So uh, I'm going to end that here. Um, so I would try to remember to put the spoiler thing at the beginning because I guess some people, this could be a spoiler. Even though I felt like it was obvious in the trailer that she's Black Panther. It happened in the comics. Um, you got a Shuri decal and a Shuri pop. Couldn't the decal have been a Koye? Especially if you get Midnight Angel. Which is a really weird looking suit. <laughs> it did look kind of weird. All right, that's it. Night.